What really happened to John Wilkes Booth? Today, Big Daddy and I are going to tell you the real story. Come along with us. Let's go explore. This is the grave of Emily Gambrell Booth, the second wife of Dr. John Fletcher Booth. Dr. Booth formed a company of men from Guntown at the start of the Civil War, but later resigned and returned home to take care of the soldiers who were left at home or for a promise to never pick up arms again. Emily lost her first husband to the war and he is buried at Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, Virginia. Dr. Booth and Emily were also the donors of the land where Guntown School stands today. Dr. and Mrs. Booth kept a strange recluse in their home after the Civil War. This strange fellow was seldom seen and apparently he passed away without much notice. Could the John Wilkes Booth that shot President Lincoln really be buried in Guntown, Mississippi? I first became aware of this story when reading a Phyllis Harper column in 1995 in the Tupelo Daily Journal. This is what Mr. Booth's stone looked like back in 1990. Emma Pressey told the columnist that her grandfather, Dr. John Fletcher Booth, was a cousin to John Wilkes Booth and sheltered the assassin in an upstairs bedroom in the family home. Of course, this was a closely guarded family secret. Miss Emma says in the article that her mother, Jenny Booth, was the little girl who carried food to the upstairs hideaway where John Wilkes Booth was staying in Dr. Fletcher Booth's home. This home burned to the ground some years ago. Could President Lincoln's assassin really be buried in a small country cemetery in Northeast Mississippi? There's a pair of gold cufflinks with, with JWB on them. One is buried in the grave and one is in Jackson, Mississippi with a family relative who believes that this is indeed the real John Wilkes Booth. Big Daddy and I hope you've enjoyed another one of his Mississippi stories. Thank you.